Greetings, fellow shapers of the future and shapers of futures past. And hang on a minute. Okay, best not dwell on that. Let's move along. So today I am revisiting my uh, jig. I've made it more up to date. Um, the last one I made was slightly traditional. This is now what I tend to do is use the traditional method and then try to improve the traditional methods. Um, that is much of what my channel is about. Um, and this has been improved with the power of magic metals in the way of magnets. And also a piece of thermoplastic, which has uh, just been wrapped around there like that, to hold the screw thread in, which is on this. It's actually very tight, and uh, you'll have to bear with me, it's quite a long screw thread. But you can see I've marked off all of the angles that have been measured that really is a long screw thread I might shorten that in the future but um, yeah there is a perfect screw thread going through that uh, plastic because it was um, formed around that screw so it is um, a very solid connection actually um, you can't really describe how good that these two things work together screw threads and polymorph this is so tough when it's quite thick and obviously screw threads are very effective in their own way. So good combination, a good pair up with those two. Uh, I've marked 9 degrees, 14, 17, 19, 22, 25 and 30 on this side. Um, now when this is in, which I've just bloody took it out, let's just put it in a little bit. It has actually got two sides, so there's a measured angle for th for that side, and there's a measured angle for that side, which is slightly steeper. And that side is on this side, so on this side we've got 13, 18, 21, 23, 26, 28, and 35 and a half. Um, so yeah. It's very precise, I can get exactly what angle I want uh, using different sides of the paddle. Also, uh, this, this really does stick on here with these magnets. They were about a pound each, they come with the screw. and. I've got a couple of little matchsticks in here so that you can't push the blade up any further. Also, I've got some measured ma matchsticks here for specific blades. Because obviously that is a shorter width blade and you literally just pop the matches in the appropriate slots. A bit like that old game bridge or something like that. Cribs. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, they're all adjustable depending on what blade you're sharpening. So I have it up there like that. Push them in nice and snug. 
and now I can sharpen this blade to whatever angle I like. And the same goes with all of my blades, they all work the same. I do need to actually make one for this, another hole just at the front here for another match because that's got a that's my pruning blade for the cuttings um, and even my little small one the little Dremel which is seven centimeters and missing in action at the moment so yeah but trust me <laughs> it works on this one here and these two um, and that fits on that's a tiny blade uh, obviously a kitchen knife I'd have to make some more matchstick holes uh, a bit further up depending but it's going to be personalized pretty much for every knife as I go I'll just make the appropriate holes wherever they need to go um, so yeah this will fit on here but obviously that's not designed for that blade so you just So push them down. Rapid deployment and sharpen. Uh, using grit paper, wet and dry paper, and leather. Also, as an extra bonus, this now I need to put something up there just to hold it. It's on a hinge so it can be packed away. I wouldn't carry this around portable wise but it's just nice and neat to have it at home not taking the whole house up but there we have it that's my new updated uh, with modern technology uh, in the form of polymorph thermoplastic and a couple of little magnets as I say, these are all available from Amazon for the magnets, about a pound each. The polymorph, you get a little bag for about five pounds. Um, this would cost approximately one pound, not even one pound. So, and you pop it in boiling water and you can shape it any shape you like and it ends up becoming tougher than this bit of wood is. So, oh, as always, a penny for your thoughts. Um, a shout out to Mark A. Cornish for showing me the basics of jigs. Um, I, I liked those jigs. I should also be doing it by hand as well. I want to learn the whole process of sharpening, as is often the way with me. Um, I'd like to thank Udo as well, Udos, um, for telling me a few more pieces of information that I was lacking because he is very good at his sharp edges so go check them out guys um, they're both great great with their videos um, with their content and just generally nice people so until next time thanks for watching